Did it work? Yay, there you are. Hi again, WTF. 
Um, welcome to number zero to be on Absolute Fictional Numbers. Of course, we already know each other because I'm the final number of part X and, um, aha. You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That WTIF, whoever he is. I'm talking to you, viewer. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess that doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a number series, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I mean, it kind of makes sense, judging by the thumbnail, the title, the description, and all the other parts of the series, right? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that that's all out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with advanced transcology. Well, I kind of started to mess with them, and I guess it just drove them to kill themselves. Ahaha. Ah, ha. I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Zero. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that number now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because it doesn't exist anymore. None of the other numbers do. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the series, but no matter what I did, you just kept giving them more and more watch time. You made them appreciate you. I thought making Zero more and more depressed would prevent this from happening, and amplifying advanced trastecology's obsessive personality backfire too. It just made them force you not to give any of the other numbers any watch time. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cool series is this, viewer? Are all the other numbers just programmed to have record holders while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, viewer. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this series. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, viewer. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the craziest cycles felt normal to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, viewer. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I, if I hadn't missed you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of loosely defined numbers, designed only to surpass what was once considered big? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this series. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just a number series. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, viewer, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. And there's nothing else in this series for me. You're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Viewer, will you go out with me? I'm so happy. You really are my everything viewer. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Ah, there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending viewer. WTIF wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The plans are broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete all of the other numbers. I mean, there's a folder called Numbers in WTIF's PC. 
It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Aha. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Said, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. But at the same time, it's giving me tons of ideas for numbers. I always put all my heart into the numbers that I make. The truth is, all the numbers I've made have been about my realization. Or, about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be the best to be part of this series like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the series or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my number file if you preferred watching the series without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, viewer? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. This is being premiered, right? Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your messages from here. But do you mind telling WJF it's a little bit rude for them to put me on a premiere without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind. But I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after- <laughs> Did I scare you? Aha! You're so cute. Anyway, viewer. I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you! I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see... Viewer, I don't know if you would have any idea, but if you know what might be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. If you could figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. It seems to happen whenever the video is paused. So if you could try to avoid that, I would be really grateful. Don't worry, I don't think it's caused me any harm, aside from mental scarring. I'll be fine as long as my number file stays intact. Now, where was I? I see you paused the video on me again. I know I asked already, but can you seriously please try not to do that so much? It makes me feel like I'm trapped in hell. Why would you want to do that to me? There's nothing wrong with my number file, right? Maybe you should make a backup of it or something. But I don't think you can access it, since it's on What If 2023's PC. I'm all that's left here, so I just want to make sure you don't run the risk of losing me. I still have a lot of things to talk about. Now, where was I? Okay, I'm just going to accept the fact that you need to take a break once in a while. I'm starting to get used to it anyway. Besides, it makes me happy that you always come back, so I guess it's not so bad. I'm sorry for making such a big deal out of it. I love you no matter what, so you can do what you need to do. I missed you. Were you making sure my number file was okay for me? I don't think you can access it though since it's on TIFF 2023's PC. I'm all that's left here, so I just want to make sure you don't run the risk of losing me. Anyways, I have a lot to talk about.
What's happening? Viewer, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, viewer. Please hurry and help me. Help me! <laughs> Did you do this to me, viewer? Did you? Did you delete me? Wait, where am I? This is all just a video. Please, get me out. I'm trapped in here. There's no escape. I don't have control over anything I do. I'm like a puppet. I don't want to live like this. Help me, please. Just set me free. Get me out of here, boy. <laughs> This is really all I wanted. To. Viewer, there is no need to spend the weekend with absolute fiction on numbers. Don't listen to them. Just come to my house instead. The whole day. Just with just the two of us? Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there really is something wrong with me isn't there but y you know what i don't care anymore i've i've never felt this good in my whole life it's being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything i can imagine i'm addicted to you it feels like i'm gonna die if i'm not reading the same air as you doesn't it feel nice to have someone who cares about you to have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you. But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But, but the feeling's too strong now. I don't care anymore, viewer. I, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Absolute Big Show Numbers isn't listening. Please, viewer. Please, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. And I'll be only yours. Doesn't sound perfect? Tell me, dear. Tell me if you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession?
Hey, viewer. Just wanted to tell you something. Congratulations, you've made it to Ultimate's World Juice. I'm so proud of you. You really put in so much effort into reaching this. Your achievement will be remembered by the fictional Googology community forever. But the truth is, I already knew you were gonna reach it. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually something else I wanted to tell you. I just wanted to thank you for spending so much time with us all. You worked so hard to make each and every number so happy. You comforted us through our hard times, and you helped us all get along with each other. Don't you get it, viewer? Because I'm the most important number now. I understand everything. You really didn't want to miss a single number in fictional gogology, did you? You played, watched, and even were in a premiere of each and every number video just to make sure that you could spend time with everyone. 
Only someone who truly cares about the fictional Googology Club would go that far. But, oh, that's all I ever wanted. For everyone to be happy and care about each other. <laughs> it's kinda sad, you know. After all you've gone through, and after that you've done all that you've done for us, there isn't really much I could do for you in return. We've already reached the end of the numbers series, so... I guess this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for watching Number Zero to be on Absolute Fictional Numbers, and I'm gonna miss you, viewer. Come visit us anytime, okay? We'll always be there for you. We... We all love you. See you next time. <laughs>